Sonny and I are here for the 50th anniversary of the class of 67. Uh, graduated from Woodstock School and currently taking a walk around the Tucker. It is beautiful after the monsoons uh, with everything so green. We thought we would take you along with us as we uh, enjoy the Tucker. The Tucker is the road that rings the top of the mountain. It's great to be back in the mountains. Uh, actually, I was born here in Landauer, Missouri and went to school all the way from kindergarten through high school. And it's just great to be back uh, enjoying the mountains again. The pushtas or the retaining walls are just covered at this time of year with greenery. All kinds of ferns and flora and fauna. Just love this look. Uh, this is Lal Tiva. It's an overlook where on clear days you can see uh, the snow-capped mountains of the Himalayas for about 180 degrees. They've built an observation tower uh, with a telescope that you can see it, but it is beautiful. My favorite mountain in this range uh, that I'm showing you right now from a previous trip is Bandarpunt. I think in a few days it will clear up and we will again be able to see the majestic mountains of North India. This uh, Lal Tibba has also become quite a place to uh, take pictures and so we find here a cafe called the Click Cafe. We're currently passing by the Landauer Community Cemetery. Uh, some of my classmates have family members uh, buried in this cemetery. We're passing by Catalog Memorial Church. It's a church where when I lived here, uh, different pastors from different denominations took their turns for a season uh, serving as pastor here. My father uh, served here for one season. Uh, it, it also has been the language school for years and years. In 1945, when my parents first came to India, they studied language here, and people from all over the world come to study Hindi uh, right at this language school. Uh, so far, I've met a woman from France and a man from the UK studying Hindi uh, here at the language school that's been here for a very, very long time. And so we uh, make our, we continue to make our way around the chukar. Uh, occasionally we run into uh, donkey trains. There are donkeys that bring vegetables from way down in the valley, uh, coming two or three miles up to the mountains to sell their vegetables. It's, um, it's uh, actually when I when I began school here, there are no vehicles on the hillside at all. Along the way, we see interesting butterflies, birds, and the ever-present monkeys. We have two different kinds, the rhesus, or red monkeys, and the langur, white and black monkeys. We've made it around to Sister's Bazaar where there are some grocery stores, some stores to buy. Also the new bakery. Uh, we just went in and had a cappuccino at the new bakery that uh, has, I think it was just opened about a year ago. We've come around to the north side of the Chukar and we can look down into the plains. Down over here, you can see uh, some of the buildings of Woodstock School, and then further on over, some of the other 
uh, major big schools here in Missouri. The top of this mountain is dotted with homes uh, that at one time belonged to various denominations, the purpose of which missionaries would come up out of the heat during the summer and take their children out of boarding school to be day, sco day scholars for a period of time, for a month or two or three months. And so these homes that are dotted around the hillside uh, serve that purpose. We come around now to Rokeby Manor. Uh, at one time it was the Methodist guest house when I lived here and now has been turned into a very first-rate hotel with a nice restaurant. Uh, actually my mother and father stayed here at Rokeby when they were in language school in 1945 when it was the Methodist guest house. We've come around now to St. Paul's Church. Uh, it's been here a long time. Uh, British soldiers uh, worshiped here and so in the pews there are notches for the rifles. Currently it's a part of the Church of North India. We complete the loop in front of St. Paul's Church and we find ourselves at Chardugan. Uh, Chard means four, Dugan means stores. Four stores here where you can get tea, uh, you can buy breakfast, lunch or supper, you can buy such things as soda, chips, uh, even an umbrella I bought here the other day. So there are four, four or five stores at Chad Begun.